<laughs> Meat bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to the speed hunt here on Borderlands 2. Uh, no, the pre-sequel. Wow, that was a fail. Um, yes, this is episode 3. Uh, obviously, first episode of this we went to Borderlands 1, second we was in Borderlands 2. We are now in the pre-sequel. We've got a smaller list than Borderlands 2 and 1 to get through here. But uh, you'll see the list at the end of every episode as well, so you can keep track of how I'm doing that kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go after a couple of um, a couple of uniques today, and then maybe a few legendaries as well. Um, so the first one I'm going to go for is Meathead, because Meathead drops the Meat Grinder. Um, so that's great. I've just crashed into both of those. Um, so that's nice and quick. We can get it from here, I believe. Let's go over here. He should just drop at the other side here for me. There he is. Hello, sir. Uh, so that was nice and easy. Whoa! Is that on our list? I've got the clove patch on. Um, doing that's on our list because it's not farmable. No, it's not. I might put it on the list for bonus points. Uh, world drops, maybe two world drops. Uh, but there's one of them already. That was nice. Uh, could have done with the uh, meat grinder though, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna complain of that actually. I'm not gonna complain one bit. But we will go in for another run and keep going until we actually get it. Um, go. Let's do this. Uh, after this, I think we'll go for Rabbit Adams, that's quite a quick one. And then I might go for um, a Fatale drop. We'll go for, straight in for a Legendary drop. That don't normally take that long, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, let's just play it by here. Right, there he is. Try and freeze him if we can, if not, just kill him pretty quickly. No. I hope the having the clo patch on doesn't mean that it's changed his drops completely. Because, if so, we might have to start again. Start the game again, because it's alright having a Fragnum. But if it's not on the list and we can't get the meat grinder, we've screwed ourselves up there from putting the clo patch on. Bang, bang, yep, thank you for that. Mid air bail. There we go. Down you go, that's it. Okay, he hasn't screwed anything up, that's good. There you go, guys. Number one off the list. Good start. And he took a couple of minutes. Um, let's head back in. I could do a put him a list on to this. So, obviously, we're going to go for the quickest ones first, try and get as much off the list as possible. So, uh, let's go to where we want to go first um, Atlantic Canyon. So, even legendaries like. Tiny Destroyer, that's going to be a very easy one, um, so we'll go ahead and farm them very quickly. Now do I go... I'm thinking of doing a two-in-one job here. I'm thinking of going for the Fatali first and then headed over to Rabbit Adams. We'll see how that goes. See if we can make it any quicker as well. Who are you? <laughs> are you comfy up there? Where is he? There he is. Oh, Drongo. No. Right, from there, can I get to Rabid Adams? Should be able to. Might open these up actually, I could do with some ammo. Uh, can I make this jump? That is the question. I should be able to make it easily. Yeah, miles of room. Well, not miles, but it's not bad. Right, so we're looking for the... Um, what is it even called? Marek's Mouth, that's it. The Marek's Mouth. Let's get it first time and then we can go straight for Tarly Farming. She's coming back for me! 
Down he goes. Can't see any weapons. No, let's open these quickly, try and top up on ammo. I knew it wouldn't be that easy. <clears throat> Right, same process. Once we can get one or the other though, it'll be much quicker to just speed farm. I'm hoping to get the Fatali first, obviously, but that might not happen. It could very well though, the Fatali just drop pretty easily from this guy. Compared to other legendaries anyway, I found. Actually, let's take you down first. And then I can just go straight in on this guy, wherever he is. Oh, he's, has he gone past me? There he is. Didn't see a legendary drop. You never know, it's always good to check. No, I was just about to quit out then. Not a good idea. It's probably quicker to quit out and just go straight for one and then the other, but... Hey, while we're here, may as well do a little ram route. Why don't you open your twit? Look at those natural springs up there. It's probably not like you in clusters of spring, but it's probably not even water, but they look very nice. Let's go for a swim. Go away. Go away. Right. Try number two. Coming back for me. I'm not gonna gun, um, go into showdown this time now. I'm just gonna. Boom. Oh, hello. Hammer Buster 2. Again, I don't think that's on the list either because I've got the clo patch on. I wonder if that's messing with drop rates at all. No, it's not even on the list. I maybe sh should have. See, when I first made the list for this, it was months ago. It was just after I did the original hunt. Well, it was probably nearly a year ago then. Since then, we've had the community patches come out and they've altered drop rates. And I tend to run them purely for the fact of stuff like auto moonstone pickups and stuff like that. So I think the next hunt we're going to have to do will, if, you know, it will be a, a while away from when we finish this one, but I think it'll have to factor in the community patches as well. I'm going to catch him in mid-air. Right, let's get you down first. Oh, no, let's just go straight for John Glatchy as soon as he's up there, freezing his ass off. Right, couldn't see anything. Drop. So it's good to keep an eye on the uh, the surroundings of things though when you kill an enemy because things can pop out in all sorts of places. Right, can we get one of these now? One would be nice. I'm so impatient, but we're speed hunting. So the quicker we can get things to drop, the better. Uh, luckily, I've had a bit of bit of success in Borderlands 1 and 2. We managed to carry that on into the pre-sequel. But that is easier said than done. Wow, something just absolutely launched me, but in my favour. Right, can we get him down quickly? Don't drop me a hammer buster for God's sake. Oh, where is your unique, my friend? Damn, damn, damn and blast. Well, that's not a bad shout for an episode, actually. Uh, well, for uh, something. Go to Farago Solitude. And run Claplek, Laszlo, and Egghood all in one go. That'd be a, uh, be quite beneficial. 
might do that soon though. I am thinking other things first though, like Tiny Destroyer and Meg. Meg would be a very good shout. Just very fast farms. Oh, I thought we'd got the blooming Fatali then. Go away. I can't even be bothered to fight you. Which translates to <laughs> my tombstone's gone, I'm not fighting you. I did say in the uh, last episode though, the Borderlands 2 episode, that pre-sequel drop rates are shocking sometimes. Uh, so we're probably not going to make as much progress on the pre-sequel as we are the other two games. But that is good in a way, because the pre-sequel really doesn't have a lot of farmable stuff to offer. It's got enough, but compared to Borderlands 1 and 2, it's crap. Right, here we go. Let's take this guy down. Ha! Can't get to me that time, could you? Git. Merrick's mouth. Boom. Nice. No messing around. We're going straight for Tarly farming now. Easy, easy, easy. Eleven and a half minutes in, that is a good start. We've already got two uniques. So it's time for an orange. Technically we found two uniques and two legendaries as well, haven't we? It's just them two legendaries or any loot source legendaries which I didn't bother putting on the list. Because I want to farm for something. Oh what a smash. Don't think anything dropped out but that green though, no it didn't. That was a damn good effort though. If I do say so myself. Right. Nice short run to him. Let's boost ourselves. Oh lovely, you can get straight on top of there with that. Down he goes. Now drop it soon. I know for a fact he will drop it soon. It's just when. When and where? Well, we know where. And I'm not getting cocky here, but we know kind of when. It'll be within the next 18 minutes, hopefully. I think we're going to go to Tiny Destroyer next and get the uh, Moonlight Saga, because that's a very, very short run. Put him in mid -air. Don't like freezing. There we go. Got to slam it out of him. There's the Fatale. Pick that up. Off we go. Tiny destroyer time then. Tiny destroyer. Go, 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 go. We've got to go to research and development. And then I'm thinking Meg after that. Check renders, always check renders. You never know when you can just buy your way out of a farm. Right. I think it's time to pull these bad boys out for this. Easy. Might not even need to Gunzerk, because then it'll, uh, I keep saying Gunzerk. Might not need to go into Showdown, because I can just kill it, and then see if the Moonlight Saga pops out. Well, good after you all. <sighs> Sorry about that. Let me know if you have appointment? See what the Fatali does to this guy. It's good enough. 
It's not the fastest thing in the world, but it's damn near good enough. Come on, nice quick farms. Um, I'll have to switch back to the blues actually, because if not, I think we might, after that, we'll go for... I mean, I may be getting ahead of myself here, but if we can get the uh, Tiny Destroyer to drop it, we'll go for Meg, and if we can get her to drop it, I'm going to head to Barago Solitude if I can't see anything else. Oh, the Van de Graaffen from Deadlift, it might, might be a fair, fair one to go for, get that out of the way. No. We could be spend the rest of the episode here, to be fair, but I doubt it with all the uh, how quick these are. I suppose keeping out for Cup and Bob as well while we're farming Meg. You don't appear at that one very often by Meg, but there's always the chance. I like how iced up it gets. Come on, I need to sit up. Oh, I've been sat back like a lazy shite for too long. I need to go for a little walk soon, I think, as well. Wake my legs up. Actually, I could go farm tea or worm for a laugh. No, stop looking at other things. We've got a plan. Still nothing. That's fine. We'll be back in 30 seconds. <coughs> I need to oil my chair. It's squeaking its head off. Probably hearing it anyway. Right. Come on then. You've had your spotlight. Let's do this. Oh, don't shoot me from back there, you cheeky git. No. Well, I have a lot of patience. I can keep going. Oh, I'm so annoyed they've taken the toy chest out of Concordia. That could have been three very, very easy and quick things to tick off the list. Almost cheated. Well, it is cheating, actually. That's why they've taken it away, because you used to be able to just uh, do a lap round the back of Concordia from Triton Flats, come in the back, and uh, the chest was farmable. So he was getting three uniques that you could just farm the hell out of, sell them for a load of money, and then just go around buying legendaries. <clears throat> but I'm good. I don't abuse glitches. Never have done. Winky face. So I never did that. Well, technically I don't need to for money anyway. I can just go and, go and give if I want to and give myself 99,999,000. But I don't do that either winky face <laughs> to be honest though I don't do that uh, for a good couple of months uh, anyway well it's normally a good couple of months before Gibt is made or discovered or you know they actually programmed <clears throat> but I don't give myself weapons paste myself weapons in out like that dupe them in until I've covered everything I want to cover before I start doing other things. There's no point to it. The whole fun in a new game, which I'll be doing in Borderlands 3, is just farming the crap out of it, learning where the drops are, stuff like that. If you start giving yourself stuff in from the start, then there's no point to the game. But obviously, things like Borderlands 2, it's been out since 2012. I have farmed, say, the Unkempt Harold about 400 times legitimately. Still do now in like hunt series and legendary runs and that. But sometimes if I want to do a little video on how to kill someone and I think, do you know what? They need a they can go down really well with an unkempt harold. Oh I haven't got one on this character. I am not gonna sit there farming for for that after the game's been out for six years when I just wanna do a quick guide on how to kill this certain enemy. So that's when I tend to give myself stuff. And uh Yeah, that's my explanation. Not that I have to explain myself. 
Not that anyone's asked me, so I don't know why I got into this ramp, but hey, it's passing time. It's passing time while this weird alien thing holds on to its legendary drop. Meg not be, best not be like this. I want a torrent pretty quickly off her. We've got 10 minutes left to get this and hopefully farm Meg a few times. So you've had your fun. Don't make me pull the T4SRs out because they will hurt. Seems to be killing slower. Right, screw it. He's getting the T4 or SR treatment. If I can shoot straight with him, it's hard to shoot straight with him sometimes. I think that's only in showdown though. Right. Once again, let's go. Destroyed. Still no drop though. Come on, we have things to do. That's another thing, just looked at my list. Um, Boomer's got a unique drop. I'm pretty sure Boomer's glitched as hell. So I might not be able to get that without having to do the uh, the mission. And again, I'm going to have to farm him for his... Uh, going to have to farm him for his legendary drop anyway, so I might try and do kill two birds with one stone there. There we go, we've got it. Arctic Moonlight Saga. Get that off to list. Well, what we're going for now, Meg, and then if we've got time, which we might not, we're going to go for the Van der Graffen. So we need to go to Jack's office. And to turn around and come straight back out. And by turn around, I mean do a full 720. <laughs> Forget where I am, and then head in the right direction. Right, so we're going to farm Meg, but we're looking out for Corporal Bob as well. Uh, we could probably do with opening a few ammo crates on the way to keep sh sh to make sure we keep up on the T4SR ammo and grenades. Open this door first time, please. Nope. Screw you then. Here we go then. This is how to farm Meg. You chuck this down. You chuck that down. And then you wait for her arm to come through, get some tombstone from it, and then destroy. Nice. Orange, straight away. That could no, because that could be a fair shout over there. But it's not. Fair enough. Forgot how quick that was actually. I thought it was a bit longer than that to farm Meg, but it's not. That could prove very handy. Go, 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 go. What we really like for ammo, 610. Let's see how much we can keep on top of that. Yes, Corporal Bob, a rare appearance. Oh, I shouldn't have done that though. Showdown should come back pretty quickly though. No drop, but it's nice to see you, Bob. Bobby boy. Oh crap, I didn't want to drop down there just yet. We'll be alright. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, thought that was going to happen. We need to get a Meg Tentacle down, there we go. It's going to use a lot of ammo, but we'll still get it down easy enough. No orange? Nope. Right, six minutes left. I'm actually sticking to the uh, length of the episode that I'm promising. Normally I say we try and keep it about 30 minutes and then we go to 36, 38, things like that. But the last two episodes I think I've ended them at the 30 minute mark most of the time. So we're uh, going to try the same here. Don't, please don't let a tentacle come through too, uh, yeah that's it. Don't want it to explode on me. Down she goes. No sign of oranges there. Oh, there we go. It's the Hellfire though. Damn it. It's because I've got the cloak patch on. It's changed from the Torrent to the Hellfire. But I assure you guys, that is 
basically the torrent. Uh, it's a legendary job. Why don't I turn the... Uh, you can't turn it off. I should have quit out of the game and come back in. But yeah, if you look at the co complete loot overhaul patch files for the game, the torrent has been changed to the hellfire. It's been straight up swapped. So that is now the torrent drop. Uh, so technically we'll cross that off the list as the torrent. I promise you I'm not cheating on that one either. That is actually how it goes. Right, we're going to have to get to... Um, actually, if I'm going to farm them in the next episode, let's go to Luna. Oh, no, 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 no. I've got a better idea. Lost Legion Power Suit Noob. Can we get another drop this episode? And then we'll head to Virago Solitude. I forgot about that. Interesting. Very interesting. Boom. Die. <laughs> Destroyed. We're looking for a shooting star. Across the midnight sky. Keep them closed. Tell your mum that. That is so immature. But it is a running joke in this game. I think there's signs on the wall that say your mum. In fact, I think, yeah, I think it's in Titan Robot Production Plan, actually. So technically, I am being childish, but so are 2K Australia, so I can get away with it. Bang! Let's keep the tombstone up, please. Can we keep the tombstone up, please? Thank you. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Did he drop nothing then? What an ass. Ah, uh, we've got three minutes. If we don't get it this time, we'll wait for the next drop, uh, the next episode, and then we'll carry it on from here. If we do get it this time, we'll run to Virago Solitude, and that'll be in the next pre sequel episode. We'll go after uh, Claplek, Laszlo, all those dudes. Yes. Nice clean kills. Give me a shield. Or not. Damn you all. Might actually um, look at the into the community patches as well. Um, and edit and change the list as and when. I can be bothered. Uh, I know that sounds lazy, but it, t it takes a long time to set up the list and check all the drops and all that. And then when you start doing other stuff to it, it can get a bit complicated. But I'm sure I'll do it. So this list is not obviously the final list. I've got things to take off as we go along. I've got things to put on. I'll just check out that. No, it's not. Um, so yeah, I might slowly start adding community patch drops as well. It'll obviously extend the um, it'll extend the life of the series as well a little bit if you guys are actually enjoying it. Um, my last hunt episode, Jesus uh, series, went on like a hundred and something odd episodes, and people are still watching it back to the end. That is pretty good actually. So, uh, yeah, obviously something was working with it. But um, that's looking good. No, it's not. The same, normally when you get that amount of drops, it does look like you might be getting something. But, obviously not. Right, we've got one minute left. I really want to get this right at the end, but I don't think we're going to. I'm going to do two more runs. I'm not going to stop dead on the 30 minute mark, but I'm only, it's only a very short time. I've got to stop on my last farm on the 30 minute mark, should, should we say. Now, if you'd like to go down a bit quicker than that, we've got one minute sunshine. Need to get all them down as well. That I mean, thing's pulling me in, isn't it? Still nothing. Right, one more run, definitely. About 20 seconds left. So we'll make this definitely the last farm. Next episode will be in Borderlands 1. We are going to be, I think we're going to be Chromarax farming actually. 
Um, I was going to go through and do a few uniques and stuff like that, but I think we'll save that because there's th that amount of any loot source legendaries in Baldwin's One. It's a good idea, I think, to get most of them cleared up as fast as possible. Oh, I could do with you dying to keep my tombstone up, please. There you go. Beautiful. Right, that's the last kill. If we haven't got it now, which I don't think we have, no. We'll do that next episode. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Philip, you're enjoying this. Um, I was going to say, aren't you supposed to blow up? I uh, really hope you enjoy this. I'm going to do one more run while I do a little outro, I think. Um, yeah, hope you enjoy this series. Let me know down in the uh, comments below if you are. Um, I think it's pretty good, actually. I'm enjoying, actually, the fast paceness of it all. I'm not actually having to drag it out and chill out and say we'll do an easy one this time and a hard one this time we're just like nope screw it go for the easy ones first fast as we can and then we'll see what we can do after that uh, so yeah hopefully you guys are enjoying it too um, I will be going to board into one next episode like I said so uh, yeah I'll join you for that then anyway thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one